Hi, everyone. Hi. How Hello. are you today? Great. How are you doing? I'm good. So my name is Stephanie. Um, thanks for coming to music therapy today, or mock music therapy today. Um, we're going to go around the circle and do introductions, because I don't know how well all of you know each other. I know some of you know each other really well. Um, but we're going to do your name, how old you are, and a fun fact. So my name is Stephanie. I am 22, 21, I'm 21 years old, um, and I'm from Nebraska. My name's Nick, I'm 21 years old, and I'm an entrepreneurship major. My name's Annie, I'm 22 years old, and I'm an early childhood education major. My name's Hannah, I'm 21, and I'm a music therapy major. Fantastic. All right, well, it's good to know you guys. Um, first thing I'm going to do, we're going to start making music right away. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you what all of these are and how to play them. So we'll start with the big drum right in the middle. This is called a tubano, and it's easy to remember because there's a giant tube in the bottom of it. Tubano. Um, and it's a classroom drum. It's a pretty westernized version of an African drum. And if you play it, it sounds like this. wrong way to play it. You can play the sides. You can scratch it however you want it. Can you play it? Yes, so that's the Chubano. We also have our drum over here. And this is called a dune back. It's a Middle Eastern drum. Um, I like to play it in between my, my legs and hold it here and kind of squeeze it. But you can also play it like this and give it a hug if you want. And this one sounds like this. Same kind of techniques as you would use for the tubano. Scratch it, flick it, at the sides, if you please. It's just a higher pitch. We also have a frame drum. Does anyone want to try and play this? Sweet. Okay. Fantastic. Cool. Yep. Frame drum. <laughs> we also have two different types of tambourines. So we have one with a head on it. Play that however which way you think you could play it. There's really no wrong way to play any of these. And we also have one without a head. Nice. I'm sure you guys have all seen one of those before. And then we have some other ones that you can shake. We have a maraca. Does anyone want to play the maraca? <laughs> Fantastic. That is exactly how you play the maraca. We also have egg shakers, which you play pretty much the same. You can also play them like this, which just gives you a little cleaner sound. It sounds a little more controlled. This one, same thing, but a little louder. Um, and then we have this. This is our multi-purpose Wiro or an egg shaker. However you want to think of it. It's got all of these textures on it, which you take the pick looking thing and you scrape it. Or you can do this side, which has a little bit different sound. It also has beads in it, so you can use it like a rain stick. If you please. You can also use it like a shaker. multi-purpose. It does a lot of things. And we have this Wiro, which is like that, but kind of with less options. Does anyone want to try and play this one? Any ideas? How to play that? Right. Yeah, so you are modeling one way to hold it, which is just kind of grabbing it. 
and playing it. And you could also, oh, this is grabbing it. And then you could also put your fingers in the holes. Pinch it like this. Play like that. Gives it a little bit. There are little different sounds. You can't really tell them. And then we also have this, which is based on an African bell. It's called Nagogo bell. Does anyone want to try and play this? Yes, Nick. Awesome. <laughs> Yep, that's exactly how you play it. Cool. Yep, so there's two different pitches to it. You could also put one of the big bell, put that on your leg. So the bottom circle is completely on your leg. Oh, it does? Yep, and then hit it. Yep, and it just mutes the sound a little bit. Okay. Yeah, so you get a little texture to it. Yeah, you could also play the insides of it. Fantastic. And if you're getting really creative, you can hit the handle. I think that's exactly how you play that one. Yeah, does anyone have any questions about any of that? Great. I am going to now invite you guys to grab an instrument. Any instrument you want. I'm going to take the cubano. Um, take a second to just explore and play however you want. Yeah. Yeah. 
No, it, like, especially with people that you don't know all that well, it can be a little intimidating. Do you think it was a good thing to push yourself out of your comfort zone, or were you just completely uncomfortable the whole time? I don't, I don't know. I like to drum. Yeah? yeah. Good. Yeah. Awesome. Anybody else have anything else to say? How did you feel? I was, I'm just excited you guys are here, honestly. <laughs> I do this day in, day out. I'm, I'm excited to play anytime. Love it. Um, yeah. So the next thing that I want to do is sort of check in with where you all are at today. So I'm going to ask that you choose any instrument you want. And one by one, we're kind of going to go around the circle. And we're going to first play how we're doing today, how we're feeling, where we're at. And we're going to make the sound first, and then you can put the label on it. And use the word and tell us all. You don't have to guess. Do we have to pick a new instrument? You do not have to. But we can if we want. You can if you want to. Does anyone want to go first, or do you want me to go first? You can go first. Oh, sorry. I can go first. OK. I don't know, I feel like that's a joyful sound. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you're feeling joyful? I feel joyful today. Oh good, awesome. Lots of parts of this box. But the first thing in this box. 
on the bird, and the bird on the branch, and the branch on the lamb, and the lamb on the tree, and the tree in the hole, and the hole in the bog, and the bog down in the valley.
Stephanie and that session that I had just recorded or mock session that I had just recorded um, obviously did not exhibit any of the piano skills that I have and I wanted to attach a video that displayed them. I did that for two reasons as a clinician. One of them being I had asked that group to be there for 30 minutes and I wanted to honor their time and the second being in a hospital setting it's extremely important to honor and provide as much choice as possible and they selected to do something that was just on guitar. So this is the blues progression that I had put together in a potential, for a potential composition experience. Blues is a familiar sound and it's something that's easier to just go for in the fact that it is by nature improvisational. So it's less threatening in my opinion. So this is that and I'll be scatting over it just to get some of the melody juices going. Yeah. See 
turn towards the sun.